In a match not yet seen, we have Basalt's Ben the blue belt on the left going up against an MMA fighter for the first time, Joey on the right. And this is my 4th of July special to all of you, so hopefully you enjoy. Mr. Basalt now believes that since he's a blue belt, he can take on anybody in the gym, and his first order of business is to try and take out an MMA fighter. To absolutely nobody's surprise, Ben is attacking the head and he's trying to get a good snap on Joey. But his height is going to make it difficult to do, so Ben changes up his game plan, goes for the leg, and actually gets a takedown on him. And to the surprise of none of my viewers, Ben got the takedown, good position, and he's found a way to give Joey his back. And Ben does this to make this a fair roll. If he doesn't give him the back, of course he's just going to start smashing Joey from any position he wants with his fabled Americana. Ben decides to grab the pants in a no-gi match, pulling Joey's leg into a better position so he can check Ben's hip. Now Joey's game plan from here is just to control Ben. You don't want to let a wild wolverine out because they're going to look for an Americana or some other attack and Joey definitely doesn't have the energy right now to deal with that. Now of course Ben is trying to stand up without fighting the hands or the feet, so Joey easily pulls him back and he has folk back control looking for a choke. Generally, Ben has to deal with double hooks in when they have their back, but Joey has much longer legs, so he actually sets up the figure 4 over Ben. This is going to be a new obstacle for Ben to try and escape, and of course, Ben's face is extremely expressive as he tries to deal with this new position. And he actually isn't that bad trying to escape because he starts turning to the side where he should, then he peels the hook as the lock becomes weaker, and then he starts trying to escape by standing up. But Ben's problem is that he always stands up without clearing the hands, so Joey keeps a nice gable grip over the stomach, returns him to the mat, and then he's working on the back again. Ben channels his 420 IQ and does a somersault right into a headlock. Of course, he's going to get his back once again with the headlock, but he does a nice job fighting the legs, always trying to keep his hips away from Joey. Now, Joey looks for a smooth counter known as the Bulldog Choke. The only issue is that his bicep is too far over Ben's chin. Because of this, it's not under the throat, so he's not going to get any good choke, and Ben's going to slowly start to squirm his head out of there, and they're back to wrestling. Now, that was a very unorthodox way to escape the back, but it definitely worked out. And it leads us into a question of the day. What is your personal basalt's technique or unorthodox? orthodox moves that ends up working for you in a roll? Let me know in the comments below. Ben is able to reach up and grab Joey's head and throw it into his armpit. He's trying to roll backwards with the neck attached, but he actually ends up going on his side. Now Joey just has to continue to roll through with Ben because Ben has pinned himself to the mat and he can wind up on top. Now we almost never see Ben actually use his guard, so I want you guys to rate Ben's guard and let me know in the comments below, 1 out of 10, how good you think it is. Here's a spoiler for you, it gets passed really quickly as Joey pins the leg down and he steps across, but Ben doesn't take too much time before he gets outside control by turning into Joey, but Joey's going to be 2 steps ahead of him by grabbing the arm, rolling over and he's looking for a crucifix. Now Joey's actually looking pretty smooth this match, even though he's going up with such a chaotic opponent. He has an MMA match coming up in the middle of the month, and Ben is actually one of the best partners for that because Ben has all that chaotic energy that you wouldn't expect, the same way it happens in a fight when people have a lot of adrenaline going through them. Ben goes for another unorthodox technique to get out of this crucifix by rolling backwards, and he does a nice job because as he rolls, Joey's not able to get his hooks in. It definitely is a weird way to escape the crucifix, but I think we can all agree that Ben is making improvements. Joey's doing a nice job extending Ben because Ben is sitting in turtle. He has his elbows and knees tucked in, but Joey makes enough space that he can bring his left hook in and then he's starting to bring the right hook in as well. He can only attack with the foot right now and Ben is trying to pull it out at the same time, but then Joey goes towards the half Nelson and he's trying to take full back control. And don't forget that if you don't want another man to control your backside, you have to press like on the video right now, otherwise you're going to be paired up with somebody like Joey and they're going to put you in a body triangle. Now since Joey could never get his second hook in, Ben actually is able to stand up using all of his power and Joey was getting too high and he has to let him go. Ben gives a manly grunt and then we get to watch some excellent wrestling as he dives in and spends way too much time on his knees like the weird guy outside Wendy's behind the dumpster. Joey once again uses his long frame and he grabs a wizard. He's going to look to defend by hitting an Uchimata on Ben and he actually ended up injuring Ben for a split second, I'm not quite sure what happened. Now while a mere mortal may be injured and have to deal with this pain a lot longer, Ben has the power of basalt and is going to use this to his advantage. Ben has been working a new pass known as the Ben Handstand. We saw him use it against Jess in his last video and Joey is going to be his next victim. He goes over the top of Joey and then he ends up using the wall to push off so he can escape the mount that Joey almost had on him for a split second. Now I love all the new techniques that Ben is pulling off but unfortunately Joey is able to escape and he goes right to the front head shoving Ben into a terrible position. Ben does a nice job hand fighting for quite a while so he doesn't have to worry about the guillotine or the darts from Joey. With those long arms, you're always in danger of being put in a choke so it's best to hand fight and try and stand your way back up. 
Now, Joey has certainly had some good positions over Ben, but I think this is a pretty good matchup between the two. They're both blue belts, and they've both been doing some pretty good techniques for each side. Ben has had some great escapes, and Joey's had some good offense with back control. They're both returning to wrestling, and Ben's looking for a snap, and he has a great entry for a shot, but Joey does a nice job Ooh. wrapping up the head, and he's able to put himself into mount. I am sincerely proud of Ben for going for that shot. It was good timing. He just needed a little bit better finish, but great job by both of them. Nice offense by Ben and good defense by Joey. If you appreciate the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate all the help I get from you guys. Thanks for watching. But before you go, if you want to look extremely stylish doing jujitsu or other sports, then make sure to check out xmartial.com for my link in the description below so you can get awesome gear like I have and you can use promotion code TYLER10 to save extra money.